Hey, and good morning, and welcome to another Snapshots from the Bible. Uh, today I'm still going through Exodus, and I wanted to share with you something a little from Exodus chapter 19. Now, usually when we go to this point in Exodus, people kind of skip right to Exodus 20, because that's where the Ten Commandments are. We're very familiar with that. So in our minds, when we're kind of reconstructing the story of the Exodus, we go, okay, they, they had the plagues. They crossed the Red Sea. Pharaoh's army got wiped out. They did a bit of celebration. And then Ten Commandments. But there's actually a lot that happened between the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments. And what I want to focus on today is the 19th chapter here in Exodus, which is just one of the best descriptions of encountering God that you see in the Bible. See, what happens is they get to the foot of Mount Sinai, and it's a, a big mountain, and the people camp at the foot of the mountain at the base, the, the base camp, right? And, and God says this. He says this in verse 9. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear me speaking with you and will always put their trust in you. So God says, I'm going to come. I'm going to come down and I'm going to back you up, Moses, so that they know, first of all, that they know I am God, that they can yet again see me, see see some sort of physical evidence that there is a God, this is a God we worship. Of course, God had been providing them phys physical evidence through the pillar of uh, smoke and fire, but he's going to do something even more tremendous. So he asked, the Lord asks, he says, Moses, okay, here's a few things. One, you need to consecrate the people, they need to wash, they need to keep themselves pure for three days, and, and they can't step onto the mountain. When I come down, the mountain is off limits. They step one foot onto the mountain, they die. They just, this is holy ground, absolutely holy ground. It's like you can't look upon the Lord as a sinner and, and live. You also can't come into his presence, his direct presence, and live as a sinner. So Moses tells the people that. And then in verse 13, 16, it's this description. And I want you to hear this and just imagine what it'd be like to be at the foot of the mountain and see God come down. Because I think we've all been outside when we've seen a storm roll in and you feel really small. You look at those black clouds, you see the, the thunder strikes, you see, you see all that happening and you go, wow, you know, feel the wind. And you just, it overwhelms you. And this was like that even more. So in verse 16, it says, on the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain. This is the, the Shekinah cloud, the cloud of glory that often surrounds God. We also see the Shekinah cloud with Jesus in the transfiguration. When Jesus shows, reveals his glory to uh, Peter, James, and John, the Shekinah cloud is all around them. And the Shekinah cloud comes down right now. And a very loud trumpet blast sounded. So there's that trumpet blast. We, we see that elsewhere in the Bible too, that God is often uh, preceded by a trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trembled that is not just going oh wow that's a really cool storm coming this is something that brought water to their knees they were shaking because they the power the majesty of seeing and hearing god verse 17 then moses led the people out of the camp to meet with god and they stood at the foot of the mountain mount sinai was covered with smoke because the lord descended on it in fire the smoke billowed up from it like a smoke from a furnace and the whole mountain trembled violently. And the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Moses spoke, and the voice of the Lord answered him. The mountain is shaking. Moses leads the people. They must have seemed so small, even in the millions of people. But in that moment, they were so small at the foot of the mountain. Men, women, children, looking up, seeing this, hearing this. The trumpet gets louder and louder. Moses speaks to God, and God speaks back. And that sets the stage for the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments wasn't just God going, oh, by the way, here's an email, Moses. Here's ten things. He really sets the stage like, I am the Lord. Here is what I want you to do to obey me, to keep my covenant, to keep that covenant of grace that runs throughout the entire Old Testament. And it's a moment of thunder, of fire, of smoke, of earthquake, of noise, of trumpets. And the Lord was there. It's just an amazing moment. This is the Lord we worship.
this is the Lord we will encounter in person one day. And it will be even greater than this. I just want to share that with you. Don't, don't reduce God. Don't take him down to some safe little kitten that you keep in your closet because he's all cute and cuddly. God is huge. God is powerful. God is at times scary. And that's okay because he is God and he is a good God. So that's our snapshots from the Bible today from Exodus chapter 19. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you again soon.